Dear viewer, this will be the first video in the tutorial series that will cover essential information about GIS. GIS stands for Geographic Information System. This is a system designed to create, store, manage, manipulate, represent, and analyze geographic data. It may seem daunting at first, however, once the basics are understood, a beginner can create these maps within a day. Currently, I have opened a map of a previous project I have conducted in Suriname. In the coming videos, I will explain in concise and simple steps how I have created this map utilizing ArcGIS, a GIS produced by Esri. In this video, we will learn about geographic data types and get an overview of the interface of ArcGIS. To quickly cover features we need for this map, places, in this case Pokegron and Achoni, indicated as points, roads and rivers, indicated as lines, and a boundary of the research area, indicated as a polygon. A polygon is an enclosed shape. They are layered on top of each other. The points, lines, and polygons are geographic vector graphics, which are digital vertices and paths with location information. In ArcGIS, these are called shape files. The bottom layer of this project is an elevation map. This is a raster image, which is a grid of pixels in a certain resolution and shape. Raster images are commonly used to represent large detailed surfaces, such as satellite images or elevation maps, while vectors are commonly used for abstract and simple spatial entities, such as places, roads, and boundaries. First, the interface in short, going clockwise. The file menu allows to start new projects, open and save projects, add data, export maps, etc. The edit menu undoes actions, copy and paste features. The view menu allows to edit the layout of your map and adjust the data frame properties. The bookmark menu lets you simply create bookmarks on desired locations in the map. The insert menu is used to add layout features, such as a legend, north arrows, skill bars, etc. The selection menu is used to select features, among others by queries. The geoprocessing menu indicates geoprocessing tools, which can be useful to manipulate and analyze spatial data. More on this in a later video. The Customize menu allows to add or remove toolbars and install extensions. If you purchase ArcGIS, or when you use it for educational purposes, you will likely obtain several extensions. For now, select the following extensions. 3D Analyst, Geostatistical Analyst, and Spatial Analyst. Lastly, the Windows menu and Help menu are indicated. Use the help menu to access extensive documentation for detailed problems you may encounter during the usage of ArcGIS. Under the menus, some main functions are displayed as icons. Hovering over them shows the relevant information. During the utilization of ArcGIS, you will quickly learn the icons' as purposes. For now, a useful icon is the one leading to the catalog. This can also be accessed on the right side of the interface. From here, data from your directories can be accessed and added to your map. In the bottom section, the coordinates can be seen, depending on your settings and where the mouse is hovering. In the middle, a large canvas where all the map features are indicated. Finally, on the left side, the table of contents is indicated in a hierarchical manner. This is the final section of this video. In the next video, we will import geographic data, create and edit shapefiles, and cover more GIS concepts.